Hi there, and welcome to our learning activity review in MathPax for Senior High School General Mathematics. And our objective is the learner solves problems involving exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. Solutions to the Senior High School General Mathematics, Quarter 1, Week 7, A. Exercises 1. Directions. Solve the following problems and write your solutions on your answer sheet. Number 1. A new virus is spreading in the city. Currently, 1,520 people are infected. If the virus is spreading at a rate of 1.2% each day, how many people will be infected in 5 days? For the solution, we have the initial amount or the number of people infected at time t equals 0 days, then the rate is 1.2%, we convert it to decimal, that's 0 0.012. How to do it in your calculator. If you have a calculator, well, you just press 1.2, divide it by 100, it will give you this value. Then, for the T, is in days, and we have 5 days. We are asked to find the number of infected people after 5 days. Given that, at day 0, we have 1,520 people infected of the virus. For our exponential model, we have P of T equals the initial amount times the quantity 1 plus the rate raised it to T. So we have P of T equals P of 0 or P sub 0 is 1520 times 1 plus 0 0.012 raised to T. In this case, our t equals 5, so we have to get p of 5. And p of 5 is, we just copy this expression, and instead of writing t, we have to write 5. And solving, p of 5 equals 1,613 people. Hence, there will be 1,613 people infected in five days moving on to number two a certain type of bacteria has a very high exponential growth rate of 70 percent every minute if there are initially 10 bacteria then determine how many bacteria will there be in 15 minutes so our initial amount is 10 Bacteria, that's P sub 0. And the rate is a very high growth rate of 70%. Converted to decimal, we have 0 0.7. And the required time is in minutes. And in this case, we are asked to find how many bacteria are there in 15 minutes. For our exponential model, we have P of T equals P sub 0 times quantity 1 plus R raised to T. Then plugging in the given, P of T is equal to 10 times quantity 1 plus the R 0 0.7 raised it to T. In this case, T is 15. So we have 10 times quantity 1.7 raised it to 15. So solving it, we have this 10 times 1.7 raised to 15 will give us 2,862.423051 or just simply, we just rounded off to the nearest number or the nearest integer. So in this case, we have 28,624. Hence, there will be 28,624 bacteria in 15 minutes. Number three, the population of Iloilo City was 447,992 in 2015. 
and is growing at an annual rate of 1.02%. If this growth continues, what will be the approximate population of Iloilo City in the year 2021? Solution, we have here P sub 0 is the initial amount. So we have 447,992 and the rate is 1.02% converted to decimal. It's 0 0.0102 and T equals 6 years. Why 6 years? Because we have 2021 minus 2015. So that is T equals 6 years. So our exponential model is P of T equals the initial amount times the quantity 1 plus r this is raised to t so in this case since t is 6 we have p of 6 equals the p sub 0 given times 1 plus 0 0.0102 raise this to 6 for t so we have the population of Iloilo city in the year 2021 will be 476,117 people. Hence, the approximate population of Iloilo City in the year 2021 is 476,117 people. Moving on to exercises number two, solve the following problems and write your solutions on your answer sheet. For number one, a bacteria can multiply at an alarming rate when each bacteria splits into two new cells, thus meaning it doubles or thus doubling. If we start with only one bacterium which doubles every hour, how many bacteria will we have by the end of one day? Well, P sub 0 is one bacterium, the initial amount or the number of bacteria at T equals 0. And our T is 1D, or let's convert it to hours. 1D is equals 2, is equal to 24 hours. Then we have our exponential model. P of T equals the initial amount P sub 0, it's 1. And why do we have 2? Well, because it doubles. So we have 2 raised to the T in hours divided by 1 hour because it doubles every hour. So simplifying, we have P of T equals 2 raised to T. And P of 24 is 16,777,000. 216 bacteria in one day or after 24 hours. Number two, the population of penguins in a certain area of Antarctica doubles every six months. If there were 400 penguins in the region today, how many will there be in two years? Well, initial amount is P sub 0 is 400 penguins. Then the time T is 2 years. That's equivalent to 24 months. Why do we need to transform it or convert it to 24 months? Well, because it says here that it doubles or the population doubles every 6 months. So we have here P of T equals 400. Then times 2 raised 2. T over 6 because it doubles every 6 months. So in this case, P of 24 is 400 times quantity 2 raised it to 24 over 6, giving us 400 times 2 raised to 4. So we have, this is 400 times 16, we, give, we have 6,400 penguins after two years. We have the enrichment activity. The population of the city can be modeled by the given exponential model. We have P 
equals 10,475 times quantity 1.03 raised to t, where t is the number of years since 2010. What was the population in 2010? And by what percent did the population increase by its year? Well, answering the question population in 2010, that's the initial amount of 10,475. And of course, the percent increase each year is 3%. This solves number one. Moving on to number two. Mario owns a chain of fast food restaurants that operated 12 stores in 2015. If the rate of increase is 8% annually, how many stores does the restaurant operate in 2020? For the solution, we have the initial amount is 12 stores with a rate of 8% converted to decimal 0 0.08 and t equals 5 years. The difference between 2020 and 2015. So our exponential model is P of T equals initial amount 12, or let's have P sub 0 times quantity 1 plus R, raise it to T. So P of 5 equals 12 times 1.08 raised to 5. And this is equal to 17.63. And since we are dealing with a reality problem in terms of 12 stores or I mean the number of restaurant or the number of stores so we have 17.63 rounded down to 17 stores hence there are approximately 17 stores operating in 2020 number three Suppose a rabbit population of eight rabbits quadrupled every three months. How many rabbits will exist after two years? P is up zero or the initial amount of rabbit population, eight rabbits. Then it quadrupled every three months. So meaning quadrupled four times every three months. So, three months, after three months, say for example, uh, at t equals zero month, we have eight rabbits. Then, it quadrupled, so meaning eight times four, after three months, it becomes 32. Then, 32 after another three months times four, that becomes 120 plus so on. Anyway, you can calculate using the calculator. Well, we have an exponential model to, sh to shorten our solution. P of t equals 8 times 4 raised to t over 3. Why 3? Because it happens every 3 months that the population of the rabbit is quadrupled. Why 4? Because of this term or the given quadruple meaning it increases four times not doubles it's different from our earlier problem so p of 24 y 24 we have two years so we converted it to months so two years equals 24 months so we have here 8 times 4 raised to 24 over 3 that's 4 raised to 8 times 8 so we have 524,288 rabbits after 2 years or 24 months so this ends our learning activity video in this topic and this is teacher Marichu saying always stay happy healthy and safe and please like this video and also share this and if you are not a subscriber of this of my channel please subscribe because i will be happy to make future learning activity videos in mathematics for you so that you will understand better mathematics for i believe that mathematics helps simplify our lives 
Mathematics was created not to complicate our lives, but to simplify it. Stay tuned for my future video. God bless you!